Hello, welcome to Switched On, Paul speaking, and welcome to a look at the Long Dark, which comes from Hinterland Studio, and will set you back £35.24.29 in the UK. This is a survival game. It's actually quite amusing at the start. It um, mentions that anything that you see in the game uh, shouldn't be replicated in real life, as it may result in injury or death. So uh, don't take this as a uh, as a all-encompassing guide of how to survive. But uh, what it is is a really really good survival game. Now I've not played a massive amount of this. Played a few hours and I've died plenty of times. It is a really tough game. Story is you um, take a flight with your ex-girlfriend or ex-wife uh, to fly her to a location without spoiling too much. The plane crashes in this really remote location and you're basically left in a jumper and a couple of a handful of supplies in the middle of nowhere in this thick snowy wasteland full of wolves and you need to try and survive and that it is as I say very difficult. You've got lots of different systems at play. You can see them in the bottom left hand corner. Must be the key to the bank. We'll take a. Uh, we'll take a key there. I can still eat this. And a granola bar. Um, bottom left-hand corner. You've got different systems um, that you need to keep track of. If we go in here, you can see them. We've got warmth. You've got rest. You've got how uh, quenched you are. Your thirst is quenched, and how hungry you are. Uh, how many calories you're consuming. The air temperature. The wind chill. What it feels like, uh, you know, there's a lot going on here, uh, sort of simulation-wise of of surviving in the dark. There's a day and a night system. There's an injury system. It's really, really good. Like, like here, you can see here with these clothing, how it affects all of your um, stats. So you can see here how warm this shirt is. It's an inner layer. What rain protection it's got. What heat protection it's got. What shielding it's got. So, you know, you need to find better clothing. I mean, luckily I came across this thick jacket in one of my early searches, but um, I was really struggling of sort of getting towards hypothermia. So really, really tricky. You really need to keep an eye on it. You need to keep fed. You need to keep watered. You need to keep warm and sheltered. Uh, I'm actually a little way into the story now. I've stumbled across a village. Let's kind of search that building. Um, but yeah, we stumbled across this village. There's got some houses here, met some new characters. So they're managing to, I'm managing now to find a few supplies. This is one of the little issues I do have with the game. There's a lot of loading screens. They're not particularly long, but they're just long enough to irritate. And as I say, it happens quite a lot when you're moving from area to area, um, building to building. You get this like little loading screen, which is a bit of a shame. But it's quite a nice looking game. It's got this like stylized kind of uh, graphical look to it, which means that, all right, it's a little bit downgraded on the Switch, but because of this stylized look, it does kind of get away with it. And just one of these games you need to search everywhere. Find clues, find resources. Ultimately finding your wife. She crash landed in the plane with you and she's disappeared. Excuse me, so she is, um, she's out here somewhere. Now you may have heard that, that isn't my little dog here that's sitting next to me in the recording booth here. That is, in the game, that is a wolf. They are early on best avoided uh, because they will come after you. And it also does mention, which is really quite nice as well, to start the game on the sort of loading screen it does say that they're aware that you know wolves generally won't attack certainly not singularly in the wild and uh, it's just sort of done for gameplay elements so just to make I suppose just to stop people complaining that it's a bad representation of wolves and probably uh, you know suing the developers there'd be a, a queue of wolves claiming they're being misrepresented um, we'll take some mushrooms there. We might need those later if we can cook those up. But that wolf does sound pretty close. I'm not too too keen on staying out here as the sun goes down. 
There are weapons in the game as well. You can sort of, uh, there's crafting as you'd imagine. Um, you can craft sort of bow and arrows and axes and stuff. Early on you literally just got stones that you can throw at things to keep them away from you and try and kill rabbits and stuff. But you can really feel the cold as the sort of the sun's going down here and the wind's picking up. Especially early on it's really, really difficult. You're sort of struggling with injuries from the plane crash. It's dark, it's snowing. And uh, those first couple of hours are really tense when you need to uh, find shelter. It's kind of like the start of Minecraft if you've played that. You know, you need to survive the first night really and then you you build from there. But yeah, it can be very difficult. So I'm just looking around for clues here. If you hold down L, you've got this radial menu that pops up. So it's got your current mission on the right hand side there. We need to check the gas station for more supplies. Uh, we can check the map in a minute. You've got this radial menu in the middle. Center one gives you your status. Uh, you've got light sources. You've got food that you've got. Weapons that you've got. Uh, navigation. So you've got a little map that you can find. Journal. Keeps track of anything interesting that happens during your travels. That gets noted down. Uh, campcraft. Where you can build fires and shelter. Uh, first aid. When you find medicines, you can administer first aid on yourself. Different sorts of tablets and bandages. That kind of thing. And you can drink any drinks you've got. So you just need to keep an eye on those bars. Let's actually bring up the navigation. This is the map. We need to head here. Uh, actually, we need to go past there, don't we? Let's go to the gas station. There is the gas station now. So, yeah, we need to head downwards. We kind of searched a lot of these houses, so we're going to head off to the gas station. I don't want to spoil too much. There's a you know a really nice story developing here. It feels a little bit supernaturally, a little bit Twin Peaksy. There's something definitely mysterious going on, but it has also got that sort of I don't know Canadian wilderness survival element. I suppose if you've watched um, what's that story with the guy that gets stuck in the bus? Ah, oh, God can't remember it but I don't know if you've seen that true story of the the guy that goes hiking and uh, lives in a bus but it reminds me of the winter scenes of that you know when you're trying to survive off the land and uh, trying to stave off the cold and hunger so just going to trek we're going in the right direction I'm sure we are oh we're heading off that way actually Let's see if we can take a shortcut through Take, we took a shortcut this direction. Keep an eye out for wolves. This is kind of a, a definitive edition. This has been out for quite a while on PC. I think it's been out since 2016, possibly. It was a Kickstarter. And they're actually making a film, or they were making a film of it, according to their uh, press releases that I've got. Took a bit of a tumble down there. They can see night is joining. It's got this beautiful day-night system. You can really feel when the, the sun's going down. and You've got that lovely sort of milky red sky as the sun's going down. And the temperature will go down. So you need to keep an eye on that. I think this is the gas station we're coming up to here. Then back towards the road. And the music as well. You may have heard it just kick in there. But the music is so atmospheric. It's really beautiful. Just all in all, it's a really, really nice package. There's very few niggles I have. And I say they're mainly based around loading screens. And it can be difficult sometimes to know exactly what to do. The temperature is dropping, actually. You can see the, the icons on the bottom left-hand corner. The temperature gauge, the one on the far left, has got three arrows on it now, which means it's getting cooler. We are heading on the right path to the gas station. I'm going to try and make it to the gas station before the uh, the weather goes down. But it's quite slow paced as well, as you can see. You've kind of uh, got a lot of searching to do. But honestly, just the atmosphere is just really one of the best atmospheres I've sort of felt in a Switch game. I hadn't heard of this game. It sort of surprise dropped on the Switch. I think it was like the last partner showcase. Uh, they mentioned that the Long Dark was coming. And then uh, the surprise news is it was available almost immediately. So that was uh, good news for fans of this one. As we reached the gas station. The Orca gas station. Uh, so the 
next bit of our uh, help were, or the next part of the story from our current mission is uh, check the gas station for more supplies stock grey mother's fridge with food fill grey mother's firewood bin outside so we need to find more items here for a character called grey mother who you'll meet thankfully we've got here the temperatures dropping I think I can use this some coal yeah we'll take that the systems are quite realistic so if you do find shelter you'll see that uh, bar on the left hand side you know where it's said that it's getting cooler that will change to reflect you know the shelter that you've got or if you make a fire and stand near it the you know your character will get warmer your body temperature will go up you'll stop shivering ah so we've walked in here and there's somebody in here so let's see if we can avoid talking to them because i don't want to spoil any story but um what i might do is wrap this up now i'm probably going to review this one as well got a few reviews lined up just wanted to give you an early overview of this one because you may have seen it on the store not know what it's all about but um i've really been enjoying it it's as i say it's tremendously atmospheric the port seems good apart from those little bits of loading it sort of doesn't slow down or anything so the actual uh the look of it is quite nice there's some low textures you look at this sort of thing here doesn't look great but so it has got this kind of stylized cartoon look so you can kind of I don't know, take it with a little bit of a pinch of salt because it has got this stylized look to it. So that's the Long Dark. It's out in the eShop now. It's been out a week or so. I've been playing it to see if I could progress the story before I uh, bought you too much content. But so I'm about two or three hours in and uh, really, really been enjoying it. So if you like these kind of survival games, adventure games with a supernaturalish story, uh, really, really recommend this. So keep an eye on it. Stick it on your wish list if you're if you're looking for a new game for the future and uh yeah keep an eye out for my review which should be coming over the next week or so so i hope you enjoyed that leave me a thumbs up if you did leave me a comment below be really appreciated and uh, obviously subscribe if you're new thank you very much but until next time i'll see you guys again soon stay safe and uh, catch you next time cheers everyone bye bye